This is LJ and welcome back to How To Hydro. In this episode, we're gonna be going over cooling your grow room. Now there are a couple different methods commonly used to cool grow rooms and we're gonna be showing you both of them. This is about the biggest challenge in most grow rooms. So we're gonna be showing you the tips and tricks you need to create the perfect atmosphere inside of your grow room. So let's get started with step four of planning the grow room, calculating your cooling needs. Now there are two popular ways to cool your grow room. You can either go straight against the heat you're generating with air conditioning, or you can use fans to air cool the room. Using fans to air cool. Air cooling is a term used in contrast air conditioning and basically means using a fan. This method uses fans to pull cold air from outside and exhaust the heated air generated inside of your grow room to the outside world. The goal, like all of indoor growing, is to mimic perfect outdoor conditions. The target for this is to clear the entire cubic footage of air in your grow room in one to two minutes. The faster you can exhaust all the cubic footage of air from inside of your grow room, the better this will work. The idea is to replace the heated air from within your grow room with much colder air from outside. This is a much cheaper method than air conditioning, both for initial purchase and monthly usage, generally speaking. This method works best in climates with colder outdoor temperatures. However, if you run your room at night, you can use this method most of the year round. You're going to be looking for temperatures below 70 degrees before this becomes an option worth exploring. And so conversely, if you live in a climate with temperatures regularly above 70 degrees, air conditioning might be the option for you. The downside of this method is that you can't inject CO2 successfully because you're going to be removing all of the air from within your room every minute or so. And by doing this, theoretically, you're going to be exhausting all of the CO2 out of the room. This method doesn't require a lot of math. If the room is still hot, cycle more air faster. The only math required is taking the cubic footage of your room and matching it up against the cubic footage of the fan or fans you'll be using. To do this, we need to figure out the square footage of your room and then multiply it times the height of your room. For example, a room that is 12 feet long, seven and a half feet across, and nine feet tall would be calculated like this. 12 times seven and a half equals 90, then 90 square feet, times nine feet tall equals 810 cubic feet. And now that I know that I have 810 cubic feet to work with, I'm gonna start by using two 747 cubic feet a minute fans for intake and exhaust. See if that'll cool the room amply. The fans will be clearing the room in about a minute and 10 seconds. If that doesn't work, I add more or bigger fans. That's it. I installed this option into the patient's room that we just built to demonstrate it. And we're gonna see how it works during testing, but I suspect it's gonna work fantastic. I'm interested in what you guys have to say, so hit me at LJ at BigBudsMag.com and join me next time for Building the Grow Room. This is LJ for BigBudsMag.com. We'll see you next time.